What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on Lightyear. Today we are going to be building the merchant landing and doing a couple other awesome things. So before we get started, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment any other ideas you want me to do in this game. And now let's just get going to building this merchant landing. First things first, let's hop into our mech. Let's go figure out what we need to build this merchant landing. Over here, we need red crystal and aluminum rods. So let's go fi figure out how to get those real quick. So I think we found our aluminum right here. Let's go see. Yeah, aluminum deposit. Let's destroy this all up. There we go, we get four per, so let's just keep going, getting some of this stuff. All right, I think we found our ruby deposits over here, so let's go red crystal deposits. Spike saw upgrade required, so let's see. All right guys, so I found out that I gotta upgrade my saw via the upgrade depot, which is right here. So I'm tracking that right now. I need to get some more stone and then do some aluminum frames to be able to upgrade and then build the merchant landing. So we're going to be working on that right now. Just over here, going to be mining some of the rock and some of the other things that we need to get this story on and rolling around. All right, guys. So after some mining, we are now going to build the assembler, which I do believe should allow us to then build our aluminum frames which it does we can start on those i think we need four of them so start on that we built all four and now we can build the merchant landing so let's come over here okay we need some more rock for that let's just go over and get some rock real quick looks like there's some over there this game, honestly, like the visuals and everything, it's raining right now. And you can look on the screen of the mech. Um, you can see the water just trickling down it. Just the detail in this game and how long something like that takes for developers to figure out is just amazing. I mean, this game is beautiful. You'd like the mountain even got some snow on it. This game just is breathtaking. So... I mean, if you guys are thinking about getting this game, I definitely highly recommend it. It is a really good game. Right now, let's go do the upgrade depot. So we're not doing the merchant landing yet, but we are going to do this upgrade depot, which I will just throw on the back side of this if I can. Click into place. There we go. Build that. Hop out of this at max. There we go. Now we got our upgrade depot now interact with this should be able to build upgrade our saw so we need a aluminum parts to do that so let's see how we are gonna i'm guessing you go over here to the assembler yep looks like you need polyberry oil and aluminum rods to be able to do that and to do polyberry oil let's figure that i think if i put polyberries in my on my body let's go all confirm that and now we go run back over here real quick all right guys well we're on to day five still need to figure out how to do the polyberry oil maybe i get it from extracting these thank you piper piper always come in clutch with the comments resource discovered polyberry get out the way now if we come over here there we go. So were those not polyberries that I had then? Or maybe I have to make the polyberries for them to actually work. Maybe these are just polyberry seeds. Yeah, I would assume that's what it is. So you got to plant the polyberries and then the seeds will then you'll be able to make the oil out of it so right now we're just gonna wait for that oil and then we're gonna upgrade our saw. So I was looking it looks like we have feed an animal as one of our side objectives so while we're waiting we might as well do that uh, I was looking around and it seems like it takes the basic fodder to kind of get all that stuff taken care of so we're gonna go right over there and do some of that real quick I think there was like a rat nest or something like that on over here so we're just gonna head over there and start feeding these guys all right guys so here's the nest I do believe we could feed it yep all right we fed it three times I don't know what that does but looks it's something we did so 
I think next thing it says is, oh, and I've fallen. Roll back over on your own. Nope, I'm gonna have to exit and flip it. Oh God, don't crush me. All right, so now it looks like get an upgrade in an upgrade depot, build decorations and build merchant landing are our task. Let's see what these decorations are. Looks like one is this, one is, so wood signpost, flagpole, wash bin, clothesline, fencing. So, you know, I'm just gonna get some stone and then build that stone fence and see what it looks like. Alrighty, so that stone wall I just built didn't count towards the decorations. So I think it's mean like these clotheslines and the wash bin. So let's build this nice little clothesline for me. Let's it's just sure right there seems good add oh come on add max there we go got one done now need this oil the oil is gonna be in here so let's collect this one oil I have let's go build the wash bin wash bin I will put it right next to it build and then add max there we go got that done and then what other decoration i could do this or this i think i might have some titanium in here i do not so it looks like we're gonna have to go mine some titanium again which is fine we're gonna need to mine some more of that anyways so i'm just gonna mine this titanium real quick and then build that flagpole and i'll show y'all what it looks like once that's all done all right so i just got my flagpole let's put it at the edge of our camp right here build that there we go there's our little flagpole flagpole right here for the frontier light year i don't know if it's a union a justice whatever it is but that is what we are part of our little wash bin and our hanging rack so that was all of that task is now done and now upgrade depot in the merchant landing so get the upgrade the upgrade is gonna need to be on my saw so let's not forget that oh shoot i need to do the aluminum parts first so let's go over here and do uh, i can only do three of them which i do believe we needed five if i'm correct yeah so we needed five so it looks like we're gonna need some more of the these to get going and growing so that way we can then build some more aluminum parts. So it looks like we're getting some more spit out right now. So let's go see. I can make one more. And that'll only bring, be able to make me one more aluminum part. So it looks like we're just going to kind of wait. I'm going to expand the farm a little bit while we're waiting. And then put some more poly berries in there. So that way we got more stuff farming and growing and all that good stuff all right guys so we just got done building our little farm plot so now it's just time to add our poly berries make sure they all grow and then we will be able to build those poly berry uh we'll be able to make those the poly berry oil is what i was trying to say all right guys so i was wandering around trying to look for more of the berries but it seems like we have stumbled across a another area we need to clean up so let's go and do that oh i need to uh, uh, upgrade before i can uh even do this one so we'll hold off on this but we can clear out these noxious weeds while we're up here. We might as well do that. Knock them off the good old checklist this place has. All right, guys. So we finally have enough to plant these. Looks like there's a weed I'm going to have to take care of because I kind of let these sit without planting them. That is fine. Just go plant these real quick. Get my vacuum out. Noxious weed. Yeah, get on out of there. Plant my last one. All right, now we are just waiting for all these to grow so that way we can then build some more of that good polyberry oil, which in turns would help me build these aluminum parts. So as we're waiting on that, I'm just going to do some of these little uh, side activities and then collect some more supplies so that way we're better prepared for the stuff that is going to come in the future so guys i was wandering around and i found something out that we can feed these guys and they will dig you up stuff like these polyberry seeds i've gotten some uh plant fibers out of them and i'm sure they drop other great things we're just gonna keep roaming around and feeding them with these 
with the fodder and see what all we can start getting out of them so guys i just fed this little guy and he dropped me some aluminum rods so they do drop just about anything so i'm just gonna i think i got like six or seven more fodders left so i'm just gonna feed these guys and see if i can't get any other cool stuff what's that some stone from that one let's see what this guy will give me and then some fiber so we'll, I'll, I'll update you guys if i get anything else cool but other than that we're just kind of still waiting for um some of these poly seeds to fully develop so that way we can extract them for their oil all right guys so i finally have all the poly bear oil i need to be able to make these aluminum parts so let's confirm that and now let's go over and grab the other aluminum parts that i have and then we'll be able to upgrade our we'll be able to upgrade our mech suit so that way we can now go and farm those rubies so that way we can then advance and build the landing dock for the plane so let's upgrade this looks like we got our upgrade so now let me make sure we have an upgrade where it needs to be spike saw can break stronger yep so i think now let's go over and see if we can break those rubies with the spike saw Alrighty, so looks like we can break these red crystals and now we'll be able to build that merchant landing so that way we can then make contact with merchants trade and sell and hopefully maybe be able to upgrade a little quicker and all of that good stuff. So let me just finish collecting all the rubies that are up here and then we'll go build that merchant landing. All right guys, so we finally have all the stuff to build this merchant landing. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I am thinking it is gonna look nice and comfortable right back here next behind if i can build it behind this can i not build it behind this i guess not can we build it maybe to the side of our camp let's see if we can't do that all right guys so we are gonna build it on this nice little flat spot right here it was having a hard time clicking in anywhere so we're just gonna build it right here and hope for the best so let's add max come on add max and there we go wait for the merchant to arrive let's see if we can't see it hopefully it doesn't take forever or else we're gonna be waiting here for a minute guys <laughs> and here is the merchant the merchant has came in let's see what the merchant has in store for us so it looks like we can buy quite a few things used to block sun rays vintage windshield purchase mech parts are found in the upgrade depot a luxurious windshield vintage engine so it looks like we have a couple upgrades a cart could be really nice hollow stone puts a piece of nature in your garden yeah i don't think we really need any of that right now that cart could be nice though oh it's just a decorative cart we can't actually use it okay then never mind bench no so it looks like the vintage arm sets and so resources stone aluminum red crystal what does she have polyberry seeds all that gets mech parts blueprints so i was looking and it looks like aluminum is very very um popular that sells for 20 a piece so i might as well sell all my aluminum because i have plenty of it and i don't know when they'll be back again so we're gonna sell 40 aluminum let's just go all confirm for 800 so we sold it all for 800 now let's see what we got pine sprout i don't really want is it per one Oh, it's one. I don't really need those. Let's see. Resources, mech parts. So these mech Oh, I wasn't done. Oh, oh, okay. I guess they just leave whenever they want to. You don't really have a choice. So looks like we are $800 richer. I think next time they come around, I will be getting some newer mech parts from them but right now it is saying restore stepstone peak so we'll do that real quick but i already know before that i will need to upgrade my water gun so let's go and see what we're gonna need for that bad boy so it looks like we need ravage oil and red crystal dust to be able to do that so if i go over here um maybe this will give me no what about no 
So it looks like we might need to build something else to get the red crystal dust. Cause it's not, this is all the fodder. So we're not, it's not going to be in there. Um, yeah, I'll have to figure it out and see how we crush that, uh, red stuff how we crush that redstone rock all right guys so it's another day and it looks like we our poly berries are all good so we're gonna go collect all these and then we will replant them so let's start collecting all these hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far like i said this has kind of been a slower episode just a lot of build up to be able to get that uh merchant landing kind of been a big pain of mine but i'm happy that we are finally able to complete it let's go it back and plant i think i am just going to plant half of these and then the other half i am going to plant with uh one of the other seeds that we got i will show you guys that here in just a second so maybe i thought we did did, does that not count as a C? Oh, it's probably because I don't have them equipped. Let's go back into here. Not at this one. Here we go. The Ravage Seeds. So we're going to go throw those in here. And I am going to then throw those into there. So let's go Ravage Seed, plant what we can of these. And now the rest I will plant with the Poly Berries. And then we will have to go through and water every single one of these. Alrighty, so we just got done watering all our luxurious plants. And now let's go see what maybe this merchant has in store for us today. So let's go mech parts. I wanted to get this vintage engine from her. So I think I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And then I will also buy vintage arm set from her so now that we got those let's go put those on this mech real quick all righty so we got a new engine in there maybe i thought it was i guess it wasn't a new engine but we put an engine in there and then we got a windshield maybe i can now enter this and maybe sell some of the stuff i picked up back to her because i feel like i just got ripped off kind of not pick those are those not pick up okay so i guess i just have those in my storage forever so yeah it seems like i just kind of got ripped off guys i thought that was new parts but it's just the same parts just a different style i'm guessing that is but we have extras just in case something breaks i guess oh no they are okay so i have to take them off so i have to okay all right i'm dumb put that oh no no don't don't want to do that put that back get the vintage engine in there take this off there we go now let's take off the right and let's put this back on come on get in there there we go now if we enter can i now can i sell anything to her can i sell i wonder if i can sell those parts to her so it looks like I'm just going to hold on to those, but we did get a little bit of an upgrade and a little new engine in there. And then we got some new arms. So that is always nice. But guys, I think this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.